Take a look at my crab claw. <laughs> <laughs> like why? Take a look at my crab claw. <laughs> Take a look at my crab claw. <laughs> What is up everybody? So, I just got done posting a two-part Sandersides video last week. A lot of you know how much time went into making those videos. A lot of time goes into all of the Sandersides videos. They've become quite the staple on my channel and I am so honored that all of you have taken to the Sandersides videos the way that you all have. It's so fun for me to do. And a lot of you have questions for me all the time as to how much actually goes into the Sandersides videos. What actually happens to create a Sandersides video. So I figured let's just create a whole video dedicated to your questions about how the Sandersides videos get made. But I cannot do that alone because I am helped by some very amazing friends that I love. Surprise, we're in this video. <laughs> what are you doing with hello? It's John. And Helen. You're so tiny. <laughs> and we are all here to take some of your questions that you guys may have. So using the hashtag FanderFinds, you all submitted a bunch of questions that you may have, um, and we, we are, are going, going to, to answer, answer them, them now. now. Wow. Well, <laughs> let's do yeah. this thing. I spilled tea on myself. And I don't know if it shows up on camera. So Joan is now wearing Talon shirt. Yeah. What originally sparked the idea for the Sander sides? It was actually last September. I still wasn't doing anything tangible with my YouTube channel. I was just inspired by what so many other people were doing. And so I was trying to figure out that bridge and I knew a lot of people knew my characters that I just used in the tour, Ultimate Storytime Tour, and how I could bring them into YouTube. And I was like, maybe a good idea is to just do a video on my own personal identity, which is like where the first Sanderson video was was like explaining my own personal identity through different facets of my one personality and so I used the teacher character the dad character and the prince character from my vines and utilized them for one vlog and I think that's important to note because a lot of people say personalities mm -hmm. they're aspects of your one of my one personality you I don't have disassociative identity disorder yeah disassociative which we want I want to do a video about that specifically disorder. yeah just to kind of like bring that distinction it's very much like an inside out situation. Yeah, they're, they're personifications just, of like certain traits you have. Just like in Inside Out, they had a panel. We are like Inside Out, but instead of a panel, it's a debate. Yeah. You were actually, you gave me a really good reference. Who did you say was like, this was a way of a theater, which I didn't realize when we set up the yeah. video in the first place. Plato. Plato. Yeah. A lot of his writing is uh, dialogue based. He makes points by having arguments and counter arguments when they eventually arrive at whatever the conclusion is that Plato wanted to convey. They're, they're in, all encompassing, that's why they have names now. They represent chunks of you. Yes. And yeah. the chunks are summed up in their names, but in a way that's less direct than morality. Very you know? well put. As soon as uh, the dad character started demonstrating qualities of just emotion, the heart, yeah. the inner child, which co like is ironic because yeah. he's the dad, but also <laughs> the child, we just needed to kind of like generalize them with the names. Still capture yeah. the fact that they aren't human beings, right? but are more broad. So that They're more broad. More on them. Kristen asked, how did you come up with the names? Hashtag Fanders finds. Nope. Hashtag Fander finds. Hashtag Fander foons. Nope. Okay. We're gonna work on that. Hashtag. Nope. Finding Flanders. Yes. Do and you, you want to explain it chronologically? Like how we got to each name? Yeah. Okay, so we got Logan first because of Logos. Ethos, Logos, and Pathos are Aristotle's ingredients for persuasion, otherwise known as appeals. Logos is appealing to logic. We were pretty sure with Logan yeah. being the name for logic, it just made sense using the same yeah. L-O-G. There were still some questions on like what would define morality. Morality was very much emotional appeals, so we gave him pathos. And it worked out because also P-A-T. Paternity, yeah. paternal, patriarch. For Princey, we decided to deviate from that. I felt like Logos and Pathos works because those two are a dichotomy. Roman is based off of Romanticism, which is cool because it's also linked with the individual, the subjective, the irrational, the imaginative, the spontaneous. And a romantic person is someone who's like really fanciful. There was the Romantic movement. A lot of Romantic literary works revolve around knights. Yeah. So the one we had the toughest time with was anxiety, but we also wanted it to be 
different. Yeah, I actually I wanted it to fit with Roman someone. After much searching, I because I really liked a name starting with the letter V. We found Virgil. I have no idea how we stumbled upon it, but I looked up the definition. Latin origin. Latin of origin. Unknown meaning. Of unknown meaning, but it is theorized to be deviated from vigil. Yes. Vigil, vigilance. That's great. There was a Roman poet named Virgil. Yes. And on yeah. top of that, that character pops up in Dante's Inferno. Dante's Inferno. Yes. And he escorts. As a guide. He escorts Dante through the underworld. Yeah. So we were like, that's the one. <laughs> and it has just a little essence of a nerdy name. That was, that that was, was actually nice. some people theorized about. I think it'll be a name he's embarrassed about. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I liked that. Yeah. It's funny the idea of his persona giving people anxiety because it's just basically my sisters in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Who was acting as you in the kitchen for part one of accepting anxiety? Thomas was Thomas. That was me. And that was a split screen effect performed by mainly Talon. Mainly Talon. Yeah. yeah. And you worked on all the color levels for anxiety's yeah. That was fun, I like that. They did a good job with the special effects, and they also helped with the clock. We basically <laughs> took actual footage of the clock that was on the wall, wound it a full yeah. 360 degrees, and then they took that footage and then filtered it. Worked our magic. I had no idea you could actually do that, because the yeah. light was reflecting on the glass. How long did that take you guys to like make that? Hours. That Wild. Very much well, people liked the clock. I thank God. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got this question from Katie. What kind of camera do you use to film your videos, and what other equipment do you use? You're the best too, Katie. <laughs> thank you. That's also a nice addition. I use a Canon. EOS 70D, and it's a Canon zoom lens EFS, 18 to 135 millimeter. This is fascinating. I think, I think it's fascinating. Yes? Okay, yeah, good. I'm just nice. reading off the lens. And then it's a Rode microphone that's on top. The tripod is a Man Manfrotto, MH804-3W. <laughs> There's two light thingies. <laughs> Pro master lights, which I feel like is redundant. Pro I'm a pro master. <laughs> I'm a pro master expert. <laughs> do you do your own eyeshadow for Virgil or do Joan and Talon do it? This was by Katie. Usually I will do it. For the longest time, I took a little eyeliner pencil and I just drew under my eyes a lot and then just took a finger and just smudged it. Ever since Anxiety's Origin, which was actually in Lily Sings or Superwoman's house, and that became the habit, but for the most recent video in Anxiety's room, we knew we wanted to apply the eyeliner gradually the longer the characters were in the room. So we used eyeshadow. So we used yeah. eyeshadow and Talon stepped in to help because Talon, you may notice Talon has a way with facial accessorizing. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! 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 Look at that gradient! Beautiful! Talon was very good about subtly applying that and then Anxiety yeah. was just like, BAM! Just Super hello. Raccoon! Winter Soldier. People really liked the layering of Virgil's eyeshadow in the most recent video, so we might have to keep that. Can you brag on Joan and Talon some more? I want to hear more about what they do for Sanders' side. They do <laughs> so much. That was one of the reasons why I was like, we do need to do this video. I love all the support that I've been given, but I'm always like trying to really emphasize how much credit it needs to be given where it's due, because you guys are up to like late nights with me making these videos happen. If you guys watched any of the Snapchats, we did so so many late night Walmart shopping for props. <laughs> and then they spent the whole day and night redecorating the apartment, making props. What did you do for the lights up there? You got oh. plastic covering and a bunch of purple marker. And then smooshed it together before the purple marker evaporated. <laughs> yes, and then taped it to the lights mm -hmm. to give everything so a purple a tinge. Tone. Talon made a whole laptop prop. <laughs> that was Talon. But you did the throwing. And then Joan <laughs> threw it at my head. And every time that was thrown at my head, Joan freaked out because they thought they actually hurt me. <laughs> wow, that sure hurt. That did it hurt. Oh, that actually. <gasps> Ow, that hurt. <laughs> oh my goodness, that hurt. Sorry. Oh no, you're fine. <laughs> <gasps> Was that like a bird? Out that window? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were getting hurt too. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Joan's standing by the script the whole night, reading lines to me, telling me different ways I can deliver it. Not only that, but they are responsible for some of the funny lines that you guys take from each video. Or some of the storylines that play out. Yes. Joan's just like, trust me. Doing a part one and part two is something I talked to you a lot about You doing. did. And again, I was very nervous because I, I was like, how are people going to respond? When we were filming it, you were still like, will it work as a part one and part two? <laughs> I guess it's it hard is. because it's so much resting on your back. You have to deliver the performance on all fronts. Joan loves adding lines to Logan. It's <laughs> a like a persicum. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Fun, fascinating. Tomato, selenum like a persicum. The scientific term for tomato. Okay. You say tomato, I, I say selenum, selenum like, like a persicum. persicum. I'm probably gonna brag about them a lot more in this video, so just stay tuned. Who's Talon's and Thomas's favorite characters? I think we know Jones is Logan. Well... <laughs> Mine's Logan. Yeah. <laughs> After some of the recent work we've done with anxiety, he's growing on me. Okay, so Talon, what is your favorite character? Uh, Patton. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Puppies and kitties and dad jokes. You said you have them ranked. Patton, logic, anxiety, prince. It's not the prince is bad. I mean, he's a bit of an egoist. I mean, I like his scream. Oh my goodness! You guys, my <laughs> scream. How's Talon? Scream alert. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. My favorite character to play is Anxiety, just because it's at the end of the night. I think I have the most fun with the character of Patton. But I mean, I also get to be really extra as the prince. Yeah, I love watching you be the prince. He also, I feel, is starting to be any bit of what people would normally classify as my femininity. Like, what society would deem to be yeah. feminine. And so, that's where that comes mm. out. Logan is I your least favorite. Only what? because of how much he talks, but he's important. Kimber asked, do you do lots of research to get Logan's lines accurate, or are you just really hecking smart? We do a yeah. lot of research. It depends on the video, if or sometimes we are it's going just a to... quick Google search, like what's the scientific no. name for a tomato? <laughs> if we're going to talk about anything to that extent of knowledge, we want to at least look like doing the research. We don't want to come from a point where we're like, we feel like we this. We feel like this. Yeah. You guys also were a great source for the anxiety videos because you both deal with heightened anxiety yep. and panic attacks. <laughs> You gave me the advice on the, the breathing, breathing mm -hmm. exercise. It helps. You mentioned the possibility of there being more Sandersides. Do you plan on introducing us to them in the future? Yes. Yeah. That's a safe bet. And I think a lot of people were confused as to whether it was just Prince who knew about them and not the other sides. The other sides know about them. I think it's notable that anxiety comes in later and slowly becomes a part of the group because Thomas becomes more comfortable about accepting anxiety as a part of himself. Mm. How did it feel to play Thomas's sides, Talon and Joan. I love playing Patton. I love playing Patton. <laughs> I did I not give you Patton. enough time as Patton. Because I knew I wanted you to play Logan, and I knew I wanted you to play Anxiety. Mm -hmm. Every, like, I went to you two, I went to Terrence, and I went to Valerie, and all four of you knew exactly who you were going to play <laughs> yeah. before I even told you guys. I really liked playing Anxiety. Oh, you did like yeah, playing Yeah, I mean, Patton and Anxiety are definitely two of my favorites to play. Logic, <laughs> as a character, love them. Playing him, not so much. <laughs> I found two when I was playing him. It's a, it's a tough balance to get right. That <laughs> one line, the unspoken line. Well, it's not line. like the unspoken line. Are you referring to uh, Vettel Mike? Vettel Mike. <laughs> Cat. Vettel Mike. Vettel Mike. <laughs> Vettel Mike. <laughs> Cat. Vettel Mike. <laughs> Well, you did a bang up yeah, job. Yeah, you did a great job. Oh, good. <laughs> How much editing goes into one video? Which one? Yes, I love you so much. I love you so much, too. Well, for the most part, I guess on average for a Sandersides video, if I'm starting and do not stop, I would say a good solid 12 hours, 12 hours? goes into editing. The anxiety one, if I was doing that myself and didn't have you guys help to help me, if you were doing no that question, one yourself, that would have been a long... A lot of the stuff probably wouldn't have been in. It wouldn't have been in the video. <laughs> yeah. You're right. You do an amazing job with eye lines cutting to the different characters, do you have your friends stand in to maintain? I don't. I don't have other people stand there. It's just, uh, it was a matter of just practice, knowing where the other me's will be. Like, it's an, it's an right. important thing. Sight well, lines like, are, yeah, it helps for realism. Uh, do you film all the lines for one side at once, then move on to another? Which side do you usually film first? That's a good question. We try to film all of one character all at once, unless there's just no way to do that. And then, uh, there is a specific order. Literally, I do all the characters from highest order of 
energy needed for the character down to the lowest. Starts with Thomas first. We then go to Prince, do all Prince, then Dad, and then Logic, and then we end with Anxiety, because yeah. at that point, the level of bitterness and fatigue <laughs> really contributes few, to the character. A few frustrating things probably happened during film. Most like likely. <laughs> then by the time I'm finished with that vlog, I'm like, good. <laughs> How long does it take to film an episode of Sandersides normally? I love you more than life, lol. Oh, I love you too. Who's that, Jenna? Yeah. Jenna, love you too. It can take a long time. I think the longest it's taken is probably like three different filming days. Three different filming days. We're talking about the growing up video. Growing up took a long, <laughs> growing up took a long time. <laughs> that video took a while because that was, there were so many cutaways. Changes, I remember, took a whole day and a half straight through. And it's tough because I'm I'm there <laughs> for all of it. Too. And you are. Yeah. Joan is literally there to say, all right, let's move on. And even when Joan is there to say, all right, let's <laughs> move on, I usually do one or three. One more. <laughs> at least one more. Okay, well, Patton definitely seems to be doing okay. How about you, Roman? Okay, well, Patton definitely seems to be doing okay. How about you, Roman? But it's at least, like, helpful for Joan to be there to be like, I liked that take. How long does it take to make a script? We've had scripts that have taken, like, a day to make. There have been scripts that we've rushed to make because we need to get filming, and then those get fleshed out as we film. Then there are scripts that take days. Like, the anxiety one we knew we were working towards, so we really wanted that one to be good. We have a script that we've probably revised. Even still, when we're recording, we'll come across lines, and then you or me will be like, is there a better way to say that? Like, is there a more efficient way to say that, or is there a funnier way to say that? We zhuzh it up a bit. That's right. A good example that people seem to respond to in part one was the, the flames on the side of my face. I, hi, flames on the side of my face. Flames? <laughs> flames? <laughs> or with e something equals MC squared. Nikola Tesla. Oh my gosh, E equals MC squared. Ha <laughs> ha. Equals MC squared. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> it's usually the take I go with is the one that makes them laugh off camera. What was your and Joan's fave Sandersides video? My favorite was Changes, just because I got to direct you guys and see how you guys acted as the different characters. That was an absolute blast. I think mine are originality. The originality was good. <laughs> and accepting anxiety part one and two. They have a special place in my heart. Oh, also the Valentine's Day episode, because that was the first one I wrote with you. Where did Patton learned to draw. I need to know the secrets. Talon um, made the card. Talon made the card. If you actually had me draw it, uh, art skills really aren't my uh, strong point. <laughs> I probably would have been even worse. I you tried know? to make it cute, but I feel like Prince's face is real nah, weird. I think it was real cute. <laughs> it was perfect. I think that was a great card. I think you did that a was, job. That was all Talon. No hate on the current outfits, but will the side clothes change one day? That is a good question because that is gonna happen. But just like a little bit of an update. Yeah. When are you gonna show the others rooms? That definitely will be happening. We already have ideas on like what the other rooms will be. It's down the road. It's, it's whenever the situation calls for it. And same thing with anything else that we hinted. I'm just excited about what is around the riverbank. I know, I'm so excited for some of this stuff. We've got some good ideas. We needed to get past Anxiety's redemption arc first before getting to this part. We have some plot lines that have been unlocked. We do, yes. Oh, it's like a video game. It's like a video game. So I'm excited about it. I hope that that was an enlightening video for you all. Thank you so much, Joan and Talon, for being here because you all play such a huge part. I can't express enough how much we owe them for the videos to be made in the first place. Thank you both. Thank you. So Thank much. you, Thomas. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much to Joan and Talon for being a part of it. You're welcome. Ah. <laughs> if you're interested in my previous videos, click over here. If you're new to the channel and would like to subscribe, click down here. And if you're interested in becoming featured fander, click down here. That's it, and until next time, take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace out! All oh, my buns are being punched. Punching your buns. Punching your buns. Yeah, we're punching your buns. <laughs> Gonna punch your bun just for fun. That's not how the song goes. Uh, what song? Punching your adventure buns. Time. Adventure time. Oh, I don't know what the f you're talking about. <laughs>